Are you ready? <laughs> Come on. Okay. Bye. I love Muhammad Jabi. I love him. I love my brother. Muhammad Jabi. Muhammad Jabi. Jabi. You ready? Okay. Alhamdulillah. Wassalat wassalam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa mawala. We are here with our brother. What's your name, brother man? Omar. I will tell you just a bit uh, history about our brother Omar. Our brother Omar, he came to us. I remember that you became Muslim here on the park or somewhere. You are already Muslim. He was already Muslim. And actually, the first time I met him, he brought his father to talk to him in order to bring him to Islam. Am I right? Yes, yes. And we talked to his father. His father didn't accept Islam, etc. But Alhamdulillah, our brother Omar, that he, we, uh, we loved him for the sake of Allah, because he's bro our brother in Islam. And then he went. Then suddenly, our brother Omar, he was with Bob the Builder, saying he left Islam. He became Christian, started refuting Muslims. And we had an argument here, and he was rude, etc. And the good thing, I will say, yani that's the introduction, yeah? And the good thing, he came today. He said he came back to Islam, and he said he, he repented to Allah, and he went to the, even all the comments with the people on Bob's channel, he was saying, I have repented, and I said, I came back to Islam. And he came to me, may Allah forgive him, he came to me, saying to me that I, I need your forgiveness. And for me, I appreciate this. I said to him, it's not me. Yeah, you need to forgive, I forgive you. But the most important thing is Allah Azza wa to forgive you. Yeah? So, just to tell everyone, uh, to say the Shahada again, in order for us to know, yeah. they become Muslim, and I wanted your comment on this, yes? Okay, okay. Please repeat your Shahada. You said you became Muslim already, yeah? But yeah. if you, you need to say it officially, because you came out publicly, yeah. we need you to come in publicly, okay. yeah? Okay. Wa ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa. Illa. Allah. Allah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasulu. Rasulu. Allah. Allah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Isa. Isa. Rasulu. Rasulu. Allah. Allah. So, I testify. I testify. That there is no one. That there is no one. Worthy to be worshipped. Worthy to be worshipped except Allah. Except Allah. And I testify. And I testify that Muhammad. That Muhammad is the messenger. Is the messenger of Allah. Of Allah. And I testify. And I testify that Jesus. That Jesus is the messenger. Is the messenger of Allah. Of Allah. Alhamdulillah. That's a good thing. This is a good part. Tell him to yeah? come back from his previous comment. Now, I wanted to mention your previous comment about Islam. Yeah. And I want you to to come out from because you mentioned certain things. Islam was wrong on this. Prophet yeah. Muhammad was wrong on this. So it's you now, it's the chance for you to, yeah. clear, to clear this. Because yeah. that's important, my brother. Yeah, yeah. So it was in May. Uh, I went to the park. I spoke with Bob. And he, and he brought out like some verses of the Quran. And he said, uh, the Quran says that uh, Christians uh, worship three gods. And I say, no, that's not true. But I didn't know anything about the matter, to be honest. I didn't study properly. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, revise or know anything concrete. So Bob, he, he, he had like this tactic, this strategy, and he makes it like persuasive, you know? He, he makes it like, oh no, no, you are wrong, you are wrong. And he, and he makes it like, you are really wrong. So I was like, wait a minute, maybe, maybe the Quran is wrong. But then I was like, when I came back home, I researched by myself, and um, I see that Bob was lying, to be honest. I see that he was lying. And um, and from then on, I, di I didn't come to the park anymore. I came back to the park, I came back as a Muslim, and I told him, look, I'm Muslim. Last time you said some wrong things. And um, he, he, we were talking about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his message, and that he wasn't an example. And I was like, no, wait a minute. How can you believe in... Um, then 
then I, I was like, I researched everything by myself, and I, and, I, and I noticed that Bob was wrong. It was wrong. So then I questioned him about Christianity. And I told him that I couldn't believe Christianity, I couldn't believe God can come as a man, and all of that, I, I couldn't believe it. So I clarified things that way. I know I made a mistake. Today I came to, to seek the forgiveness of Sheikh Muhammad, um, and the forgiveness of Allah. Well, yeah. one thing I would like to uh, um, advise you, yeah. you know, when it comes to Islam, yeah. and if you don't know anything about Islam, yeah, yeah. you can come to Sheikh Muhammad, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or other Muslim theologians. Yeah. Yeah, and, and by the way, this is not you. I will, t and this is, yeah, that's the good thing. I was planning to say this. You know, the important thing when you become Muslim, especially with those people who come to the park, you are not capable to deal with certain misconceptions about Islam. Yeah. Because sometimes those are shiny titles. They say to you, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was married to Aisha and she was young. He was a pedophile. They so will say these things. They will say this clearly. Alayhi salatu wasallam. May Allah, yani, uh, may Allah Adal, yani, uh, uh, rectify this, you know, first. So that's why people, they don't understand. And they catch you with these doubtful matters. Yes, yes. And that's why when you entertain these doubtful matters, then slowly, slowly, eventually you will leave Islam. That's why the scholars of used to say, be, in terms of the doubtful, be like the glass. The doubtful matter, the, the, the light goes into it and goes on the other side. It doesn't stick into into the glass. Yeah. Don't be like the sponge. It will soak all the doubtful matters and just you know until it will uh, until it become the main thing in our heart. So that's why Alhamdulillah, first of all, you became Muslim. We are happy for you having you in Islam. At the same time, my brother, it is something important as well for you to learn few things. That since you became Muslim, my brother. You, I don't advise you to go into again into debates and discussions again. I don't advise you to do that. I advise you just to stick to learn about Islam. Yes. Learn how you do. You know how to pray. You know how to pray the salah, etc. You know, just stick to your salah, stick to your prayer. Do what you can do of the righteous deeds. Do what you can do of the righteous deeds. That's your duty, my brother. You don't, you don't need to do to go to be all over the place. That's one thing. The other thing as well. Do not entertain these, these doubtful matters. And if you have a question, come to me. Clarify from someone who knows. We are here to help you. Come to me, come to the, bro the brothers, the people who knows um, uh, amongst the Muslims. Ask them. You don't go, you, you want to ask uh, Bob the Builder to give the fatwa, what's the right ruling, etc. And he is he's just only an enemy of Islam. So I do not, that's, that's something which is, I advise you, my brother, to do. From now onwards, make sure whenever that you wanted to know something about Islam, Go to the source, to the people of knowledge. Allah told us in the Quran, فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Ask the people of knowledge. If you don't know, ask the people of remembrance. Ask us, inshallah, and we'll answer you. But when you stick around people who are, make you doubt about your faith, when you stick around people who are enemies of Islam, yes, yes. even you say, I want to give da'wah, some people say, I'm giving them da'wah. No, you are not capable to give da'wah to them. Until you are firm in your faith, then you go, you deal with them according to what you know. Rather than, rather than you just to be with them and to, and then I was, I felt sorry for you. Yeah. For, not for, at the end of the day, Allah, my brother, Allah is sufficient. Allah doesn't need you or me or anyone. You need to, to you need to repent to Allah. You need Allah in your life. You need to submit your will to Allah. That's what you need. Not us, we, uh, us, we need Allah. Allah is sufficient. Yeah. Allah is Ghani. That's one of the names of Allah. Ghani is the sufficient, doesn't need us. But that's why my brother, Try to do what you can from the righteous deeds, huh? Yeah, inshallah. No problem. You have my number. You already have my number, by yeah, the way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> he already has my number. Oh. And never, never contacted me. Oh. And then suddenly I saw this. Subhanallah. What is this brother? What he's doing? What he's doing? It's your work. I will tell you something. If you truly repented to Allah Azza wa if you truly sincere to Allah wa Taala then serve Islam to the best of your ability throughout your life. Just to cover that major thing that you have done in your life, that's something which is, I will say to you, on the other thing as well, the advice to you, stick to the Muslims, surround yourself with the Muslim community, people who fear Allah, people who remind you of Allah. That is a key thing yani, in your life. Make sure that you do this. Don't entertain these doubtful matters. And we are there for you to help you. We are there to support you. We have no problem. I have no any 
الحمد لله I told you الحمد لله I have I clear my heart against any Muslim if there is something I try to clear my heart against any Muslim who have wronged me but I feel sorry for you when you wronged yourself by going astray away from the guidance of Allah Azza that's all and it's a serious thing did you fast this month of Ramadan did you fast it yes yes you did it الحمد لله anyway do you have any questions for me yeah, I mean, uh, no, no question. I think uh, you, you say it's true. You said uh, the truth. Uh, if you don't know about Islam, you shouldn't go to people, especially enemies of Islam, to, to get information from. And that's the main thing that I learned. And I, I'm never going to do it again. So uh, don't, don't surround yourself with people who will make you doubt about your yes, faith. Yes. Surround yourself with good Muslims, yes, good companionship. Yes. People who brings you closer to Allah, that's what yes, you're yes. supposed to do. That's a key thing. Yes. Otherwise, we're going to be lost. Yeah. yeah? Maybe Allah Azza wa Jalla wants to give you opportunity now to come back. Yeah. Maybe next time, maybe you'll have, you will not have that opportunity. So what's going to happen? You're going to die as a mushrik, someone who disbelieves in Allah Azza wa Jalla. That's the key, my brother. Absolutely. It's a big thing. It's not a small thing. Yeah. Allah doesn't forgive or pardon associated with them any partners. Yeah. Yeah. So be careful of this, my brother. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, that's the main thing, bro, honestly. What's this guy? What this guy is doing? Why go away? Why, listen, my friend, my friend, just... I'm trying to save lives. Okay, save lives there. Save lives there. Six million lives. Okay, over there. trying to save. Okay. Trying to save six million lives. Okay, okay, save lives there. We are saving souls here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, to be honest. Uh, yeah. I appreciate everything. Uh, you know, I watch the videos, especially I watch Mohammed Ijab, Muslim Lantern, and they, they, they really helped me to, to come back to Islam. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah that, you, that Allah brought you back to Islam. We're happy having you as a brother in Islam. Thank you. And, Thank you. and Alhamdulillah, we were happy that for your repentance. And I will tell you something, glad tidings for you. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that uh, he's told us that Allah is happy, yeah, when someone has lost his, like, you know, someone who lost his... Uh, uh, there is a man, he lost his camel in the desert. And then this camel has his food, his drink. So he was waiting for the death. He said he lost, that is done. So he was waiting for the death to come. While he was in this position, he was, die, he was about to die. Then he showed, the, then the shadow of the camel covered him. Then he saw his camel. Because he was so happy, he said, Oh Allah, you are my servant and I'm your Lord. You're out of happiness. Because he didn't know what to say. And he said, alayhi salatu wasalam, he, was, he made, he was mistaken. He was mistaken. This is how much extreme he was happy. And Allah is more happier when a person repenting to Allah Adil than this man. Allah way more happier. When you repent, Allah is way more happier than that. So that's a key thing. If you repent to Allah, Allah is so happy, inshallah ta'ala, from you. Okay. Is that clear, my brother? Yeah. We're happy having you, brother Omar. And jazakallah khair. Or take care of yourself. And hopefully, so hopefully, we see you more, inshallah ta'ala, saving up. And I prefer for you, don't come to the park. Stay at home, my brother. If you have, we do, if you don't know the Salah, you could come to us. We do a Salah sessions every, every Wednesday yeah, yeah, at Regents Park. Come to me, inshallah, and I will teach you. Just surround yourself with good, with Muslims, inshallah. Is I have that? your number as well. Yeah, you have my number, yeah? Yes, yes. Just let me know, inshallah. All right, my brother? All right, thank you so okay, much. Okay, inshallah. Thank you for the opportunity. Yes, yes, thank you. All right, inshallah. My, all right, my brother. All right. Here.